City Councilor Brenda Locke has big plans if she becomes mayor, stopping the transition from the RCMP to a municipal police force, something her party, Surrey Connect, says will save the city big bucks. It will cost us over $521 million over four years. This city can't afford it. Our residents can't afford it, and clearly our residents don't want it. Locke is currently leading the polls at 24%, with incumbent Mayor Doug McCallum trailing behind her at 19. Back in the 2018 election, McCallum campaigned on the promise of bringing in a municipal force, a pricey commitment that is well on its way. I absolutely will not participate in any part of the transition. We will stop it immediately. I will immediately let the uh, Solicitor General know that it is off the table for Surrey and I will also uh, let Ottawa know we are sticking with the RCMP. I will not sign off on this transition. But according to political experts, reversing it is not that simple. To, to completely unwind all that, uh, that process would itself be quite, quite expensive and ultimately would re require uh, a provincial approval to, to uh, uh, essentially undo what's already been done. And others agree it would be a complicated process. Anything that's done in a meaningful way, such as changing police forces, has to be done only with the approval of the provincial solicitor general. So... Surely would have to then go to the province and say, this is what we want. In an email to CBC, the Ministry of Public Safety and Solicitor General says the minister's approval is required and decisions are subject to RCMP agreements and federal government policies. Locke is the only mayoral candidate who is publicly committed to keeping the RCMP in Surrey. And if things go her way, Locke says officers hired under the Surrey Police Service would be transferred to their previous agency or join the Surrey RCMP. Yasmin Cantib, CBC News, Surrey.